Welcome to the Lunar Report. My name is Athen, and this is for August 13th and 14th. So the moon is in Pisces now, going with the flow, listening to our intuition, riding the waves, taking some time to, you know, to reflect, maybe do some meditating. All right, very intuitive time right now with the Pisces, and it has a lot to do with listening to our feelings. Our intuition is a water, it's a watery sort of thing, and, and there's a lot of water activity. We've got the Sun, Jupiter, and Venus all in Cancer. So we've been, com we've been becoming comfortable with this energy, and so now it's understanding more about how that is playing into our intuition and our guidance and our, our intuitive abilities. And also there's going to be a sense of dreaminess whenever the moon's in Pisces, so going with the, with the flow in regards to that. And uh, very creative, actually, and very imaginative. It's a great time for imagination, creativity, romance. And on the 14th, the moon will be conjuncting uh, Uranus, which is our true selves, our spiritual true selves that I've talked about. So listening to that, and, and you know, around this time, lis listening in general, because Uranus is it's like a higher octave of Mercury. And he has a lot of information, a lot of communication, a lot of things to tell us that are intuitive. And if we really listen, we can really tap into that. So take the time. Take the time out if you need to. But overall, just be present. And, and it's really about compassion. It's really about the heart. You know, we've been learning that, like I said, with this cancer. So we're becoming more comfortable with opening the heart up. But in this case, it's, it's a little more personal. Not that we're guarding it, but that we're listening to it for us. It's our, it's our drive. It's our guidance. Now, things are a little bit in a, what would you say, a clunky period of transitioning right now with Mercury changing signs. Mercury is going into Leo on the 13th, the very beginning, and the sun's inching his way closer to Leo as well. So there's that, that cusp period where things are just a little bit, you can't tell if it's watery, you don't know if it's water, you don't know if it's fire, it kind of goes back and forth, and it's kind of this, this little back and forth thing. So... It's, it, w the energy here is about transitioning. It's about taking what we've learned from our feelings and in this case, communicating it because Mercury in Leo is about self-expression. It's about communication. It's about speaking our truth. It's about playfulness because Leo, it's the fifth house. It's, it's fun. It's, it's the excitement of life. It's joy. And what's that? That is playfulness. That's just enjoying life. So, for these next few days, it's going with the flow, enjoying life, speaking our truth, while at the same time bringing our emotional selves out into the open, out into our conscious minds, and to play with it, to have fun, to experience life in a playful way. Now, Venus is approaching Jupiter, and he's, uh, she's going to be making her exact conjunction on the 17th. So as we get closer to that date, Things are going to be feeling much more optimistic, much more good about relationships in general. And also about finances too and resources. So these are all the domain of Venus. So optimism, self-expression, becoming more comfortable with ourselves and, and, and communicating this. And as the sun starts to go into Leo, this is really the time when we're going to start coming out and being more extroverted. It's a time of it's been a heavy time of introversion, a lot of introverted energy, to now a time of extroversion. So take it slow, go with the waves, we'll see how it transitions. Might be a little bit of jittery energy, but that's all right. Listen to that inner guidance, stay present, and overall just transform that inner heart of yours uh, out into the open for others to see. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in a few days.